Hey everybody, it's been a fabulous Tuesday and I wanted to bring you a really quick, short and sweet Dollar Tree haul. Um, I'm going to stick to just the new purchases for me. I'm not going to go over any repurchases, so let me hurry up and get started right now. I finally found these Curad Performance Series 20 Extra Long Bandages. I was looking for these. Only in my dreams hauled these, and I really wanted to find them because I found the knee and elbow, and I found the other kind. It was a larger performance series. This was the only one I was missing, um, and I just need these for the kids. I know they would think that these extra long bandages are really neat, so I picked up two boxes of these. And when I went to my doctor's appointment last week, I noticed they use Curad and the doctor. So this is a really great brand you all were getting from the Dollar Tree. So I then went ahead and picked up some of these truly ouchless flexible fabric bandages. It's 20 that come in these as well. Um, and so I just picked these up because I always need band-aids for the kids. And I picked up two boxes of each of those Curad because we don't have a first aid kit at work. And I spoke with my program manager about that. And we're just going to put together our own little first aid kit. Okay, so some new purchases for me were also these Jot Figure, I'm sorry, Fringe. Jot Fringe Poster Border. And with school starting um, or getting ready to start, my boys will definitely have projects to do left and right. And as you see, this is a silver fringe. I wish I would have found more because they could probably fringe out the whole poster board. But I only found this one pack, so I'll be keeping my eye open for this and possibly a gold fringe as well. But definitely to get a second silver one so at least one of my kids can decorate their poster boards with it. I did pick up these stickers. These were new to me. I've never purchased these before. It's 12 Jot stickers here, glitter stickers of the little cupcakes. They're really cute. And then these 12, excuse me, 13 Jot glitter stickers of the little balloons, the celebration balloons, the celebration hat. I don't like to say that this is just like a birthday hat. They did have some that said happy birthday, wishing you whatever. Um, but I chose these because I just felt like these could, you can celebrate anything with this. It doesn't have to be just birthday. All right, now that's a repurchase. Okay, this isn't. I found these 10 count coupon organizer inserts and you can actually put these in a binder. And I have those nice mead binders that I was able to find at the Dollar Tree a couple of months ago, maybe about now or a month and a half or so ago. And I thought these would be great. This is gonna help me start to organize my coupons. And those are like little plastic uh, coupon organizer inserts. I went ahead and picked up this monthly planner, 2018 planner jot. I like the color of this one, just the purple, the blue, you know, the different shades as it goes through to the green. Um, and, it's, and it's just simply a monthly planner. So I picked this up for myself for 2018. I saw Maureen Halls haul this. Maureen Halls has been really good in terms of um, showing stuff that I haven't seen yet. And it gives me, it puts things on my wish list. And when I go to the Dollar Tree, I've got my eye out looking for it. She holds some dressing that I can't find yet. But I'll show you the dressing I found in the Dollar Tree today. So she did haul this Havana Cappuccino. This is the mocha. And this says 99% fat free, but it's a premium coffee drink. This is a 12 ounce can. Yep, I got it right on the nose. This is a 12-ounce can. And she said, I saw her even put it in a cup and try it on her video. She said it tastes really good. Um, so, you know, we always compare to Starbucks. So it'd be interesting to taste this and see how good it tastes if it does compare to the Starbucks coffee drink. But, um, and just like I remember Maureen mentioning that old-fashioned car on there, how she would love to visit Cuba. Me too. I would love to visit Cuba one day. So that's what it looks like. And I just picked up two of those to try. Now the dressing I found in the Dollar Tree is this Kraft blue cheese dressing. This is a big old container. This is 22 fluid ounces of blue cheese dressing. It says drizzle, dip, and dunk. And let me look for the best buy date. This, is, this has a best if used by January 25th, 2018. 
So we've got a while to use this big old thing of blue cheese dressing. I'll have to get a lot of buffalo wings to finish that. All right, moving on. I had to pick these up. I just thought they were so cute. They are simply just tassel keychains. But look at that one in black and white. I thought that was so cute. Then this one in gold. And then the tassel keychain in pink. So I love the three of those. I'll be picking it. I'll pick which one I want. Maybe give one to my daughter. All right. So these were right on time because I needed to buy my boys hats. So I said, let me stop in the Dollar Tree. And it wasn't just those hats that I've seen that are Velcro and are much thinner. This is a nice thick hat, you all. I picked up one in purple. One of my other sons got one in navy blue. Then my other one got one, I think, in white. He just had to have white, even though I know it's going to get so filthy. But look at this, too. This is... If I'm not mistaken, it might be another material, but it is like a leather strap here, but it's very sturdy, and I love this about the hat. It snaps, and this moves. You can move this little buckle, actually, you know, on the hat to fit your head. So I thought this was awesome. It, it ensures a nice fit, especially for my boys' heads. So I picked up this one in purple for me. I'm hoping I can actually wear this. Um, but there you are. And it doesn't have an actual name in the hat. It just says New Age Incorporated. Yeah, New Age Incorporated, 100% cotton, cotton, cotton made in Bangladesh. Um, and then even I thought I could maybe try to read, but there's nothing on there. That's just like a little insignia on the actual buckle. But these are nice, really nice hats for the Dollar Tree. Um... So if you see these in there, make sure you grab them. Make sure you look at the one that has this type of strap. I thought this was awesome. This was like, this ensures the fit on someone's head. Okay. Um, moving on. And I've already picked up these from the dollar, not the dollar store, excuse me, the grocery store. Because when I see something that has bacon in it, it's hard for me not to grab them. And when I bought the actual bigger box of these cheeses from the grocery store, they went quickly in my house. So when I saw these in the, D, in the DT, I had to grab them. These are the Cheez-It Duos. It's two flavors, one bag. This is the bacon and the cheese. So if you haven't tried these in, from your grocery store, make sure you get these at the Dollar Tree. This Cheez-It bag, and I'm sorry I didn't put on my glasses, but I think that says this is a 4.3 ounce. Yes, this is a 4.3 ounce bag of the Cheez-Its for you to try. So a nice little size, and this feels really full. I could feel Cheez-Its all the way up to here. So it's a pretty full bag, but these are good. I already know, because I, like I said, I bought them from the grocery store. Make sure you try them. And this was totally new. This is by Welch's. It has a best if used by date of December 22nd, 2017. But this is the Betty Crocker new Welch's Oatmeal Bar Mix in Grape. So, very interesting. I thought it would be, it looked delicious to me. I mean, grape jelly oatmeal you know we'll see how it tastes but no artificial flavors no artificial colors no artificial preservatives so i thought this was really interesting and all you will need is half cup butter one tablespoon water so and let's see sodium says 115 milligrams again that's the welch's oatmeal bar mix and grape okay so not all the dollar trees that well, let me say this. Most of the Dollar Trees I go to in Maryland, I don't hardly ever see Tasty Cake products. If I see them, it's here and there. It's mainly only when I go to the Largo Dollar Tree. No, my apologies, Capitol Heights Dollar Tree that I see these Tasty. I've been seeing them on a regular at the Capitol Heights Dollar Tree, the Tasty Cake products. So I did pick up one of these Tasty Cake Ice Honey Buns. And let's see... What can I read here? This is a 0.5 ounce package of the Tasty Cake Honey Bun. It's just one honey bun in there. But then also this Tasty Cake Boston Cream Honey Bun. So it has that mm, filling on the inside, chocolate on the outside of the honey bun. And the last time I saw one of these was at the Fayetteville, North Carolina um, Dollar Tree. 
So I was happy to see this because I gave it to my son on the trip home from Fayetteville. He ate it. I didn't even get to taste it. So I'll get to taste this one. But um, the Tasty Cake products, like I said, I don't hardly ever see in the Dollar Trees here. Um, so I noticed that Capitol Heights has been having them on a regular. Okay, so I am getting down to the last couple of items. I did pick up two t-shirts. One just plain purple t-shirt. Um, that says Port and Company. So that's for my middle son. It's just a nice, it's a really nice quality tee. And then this one did not have an actual name in it, but it says small youth tee in gray. This is for the baby. But these are really good. If you can see the quality of the shirts up closer, these are really good t-shirts. You usually always can find great quality t-shirts in the Dollar Tree, especially if you like to do crafts for t-shirts, tie-dye shirts, whatever. And then I had to grab this Main Street Totes um, bag with the little hearts on it. I thought it was so cute. Hearts on the side as well. You know, I, I always show the Main Street Tote bags. I love them. They, they, usually, if there's any bag I'm going to always get from the Dollar Tree, it's a Main Street Totes bag. It's their reusable bags because they are just so sturdy and they are so nice. So, that's that. And then I went a little ham which means, you know, I went a little crazy when I saw these in the Dollar Tree. I really don't know what I'm going to do with all of these. I am going to end up gifting a lot of these. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I went a little crazy with these rubber spatulas. But ladies and gentlemen, they're all Farberware spatulas. Do you see that? So I looked up like a four set of these spatulas on Amazon and it runs you about $13 on Amazon. So let me tell you what this one says. Hashtag slice it up. Hashtag bake off. And look at that in the purple handle. Keep calm and bake on. And these are all Farberware. Let me show you. These are Farberware colors, rubber spatulas. And then this one says, sugary, flavorful, sweet, flaky, scrumptious, yummy, delightful, heavenly, and gooey taste on the actual part you would, you know, use. And these are all Farberware, and they all say so. They all say so on the back as well. So I couldn't just stop at those four. I mean, I had to go ahead and get all the Farberware rubber spatulas I saw. This one in orange with the wooden handle. Again, another Farberware color. And this is why when you go to the Dollar Tree, you have to actually stop and take your time and look and walk through. Another Farberware in that beautiful blue. I mean, they have a, a rubber spatula to match whatever your kitchen scheme color is. This beautiful green. The Farberware color. Oh, did I do that backwards? Okay, in the red, and you know, my kitchen color is red. Just to show you. So, I mean, if I didn't take my time and just like kind of look in the kitchen section, I would never saw them. Again, another Farberware spatula with that green and white. And the last one, red and white, which I'm keeping, keeping this one, keeping the red ones. So, yes, that was 10 Farberware rubber spatulas. I was dead wrong. Like, what am I going to do with all those rubber spatulas? So, anyway, that's my Dollar Tree haul. And I did find a lot of Skunsy products. I'm going to put those at the end because I didn't need to get any more Skunsy. Oh, sc Skunchy. Scrunchy. However you say it. Um, but I thank you for your feedback. Let me know. Correct me when I'm wrong. And you hear my daughter just came in. So let me go tend to that. But check out the pictures I'm putting behind. It was a couple cookbooks and some scrunchy, scunchy products at the end. Y'all take care. Have a great evening on purpose. A great day tomorrow on purpose. And I'll be talking to you tomorrow because I'm coming to you with my last giveaway. Giveaway number three. Take care, sweeties.